I don't take good care of my phone. We're over here at uh, DIY Auto School, SWRNC, my of Utah. And I made a video yesterday, if anybody wants to hold the camera. Okay. Remember, the microphone's over here, Mini the Body Shop Girl. Yes, Pete. Here's our battery so we don't run out of juice. Okay. We'll all see Mini the Body hey, Shop Tim. Girl in a minute. Uh, what we're doing today, we're trying to stay busy through these hard times and hardships that we're having. And I'm going to tell everybody out there, thank you. The microphone's over here, yes, Minnie, Pete. please. I'm sorry, Minnie the Body Shop Girl's very tired. <laughs> upset today aren't you we've been no. working hard we've been working hard yeah. did you tell everybody you found your black overalls let's go ahead and show no. everybody okay after a whole year and a half of being uh lost. being lost and freezing cold she found her dickies black overalls and now she's happy and warm so They're let's give yeah let's give everybody a Let's uh, give Minnie a give big thumbs up. She loves her overalls. And even though it's uh, 65 degrees here, she's freezing cold. She thinks it's Alaska. Okay. It's, it is cold when the, okay, when the sun the goes down. Okay, don't hit the power button. We'll be screwed. I'm not. When the sun goes down and the wind's right, blowing, so it's cold. Last, yesterday, I said that uh, I wanted people to call me that were possibly depressed, needed someone to t talk to. I got to call David Loist. Uh, I'm going to call him in a little while. But I actually got a big response from that. I think I called like 18 people, emailed me with their phone numbers and wanted to talk. So I hope I helped you out. And I hope I, um, you know, at least let you know that, hey, you're not the only one out there that's, you know, depressed and suffering. I also want to say, God bless everybody. Uh, keep Jesus in your life. That's very important. And keep praying for the best to happen. We don't know what all this is about yet. But I think there's more to it than what's going on. And um, we're going to keep moving forward on the situation. So let's get back into the SWRNC action because, once again, I'm not in Dallas. I can't make my videos uh, the way that I like to make them. So we're going to have to be doing live videos. And um, let me go ahead and say my email one more time. That's on way up, O N W A Y U P, at yahoo.com. If you want to talk to my friend Pete, email me your phone number, and I will call you in the morning or throughout the day. And if David Lois is watching this, I haven't forgot about you, buddy. I'm going to call you as soon as we get done doing what we're going to do. So let's go over here. I'm going to show you what we're doing and take it from there. You got any viewers out there? Many of the yeah, we got viewers. Okay, come on over here. So if we look over here, you can see we got us a big mess. We have been doing and, carpenter work today. And here's our pattern from the first stair side that we made. Okay, so what we're gonna need, we need a two by 10 to make our stairs. Now what we're doing here, we're making temporary stairs. We can't afford to get the concrete stairs right now. And until we get somebody to do all the dirt work, and when I say dirt work, I'm talking about landscaping. We don't wanna put any concrete permanent stairs in, so. Thanks Alfonso. Come on over here. And you can see what's going on here. This is one of the Howdy, platforms. Howdy, Jason. Yeah, this is a platform we made. This is a platform uh, for the front door. Now, the platform's actually going to go in the ground down to the bottom of this 2x6. And I precisely measure it. It's 22 inches from here to here. So when we stick it down there, it'll go up against it. Now, the code out here is 36 by 36. But uh, with Minnie's bad leg and her bad foot from being on a motorcycle, like, I went ahead hey, and Hey, Terry, made, thank you. I went ahead and made it a four by four. Uh, platform. platform. Deck, platform, right. whatever. Let's go ahead and start on the top. Now what I did, I got me a piece of plywood, three quarter inch. This is uh, pressure treated. Yeah, Oops, sorry, and I had to pick up a nail. I cut that out four by four, and then I'm gonna flip that up so we can look at it. And then I went ahead Hey, D'Angelo, Moreland. Okay. I went ahead and I took two 48 inches. We're good, Moreland. Okay, can I go ahead and talk? Yes, here? go ahead. Okay, everybody. Mini is to Gabby. Gabby Mini. Okay, so what I did is I took two 48 inches, which is the same width of the plywood, 
and then the, these inside ones which fit into come over here they fit into the two 48 inches is 45 inches and then of course i put a four by four post now i screwed all these down and then i put this here for support and then i also put another two by six in the center so it won't warp in the center yeah and this is just temporary now, uh because we're going to eventually have a a nice we're gonna concrete, concrete patio yeah. kind of thing, thing is, going on when people get these manufactured homes to qualify them to move into the house they have to have a temporary step in place well they have to have a step period right. so but yeah for, for the city or the county or wherever you got for them to come out and check everything out if you don't have one of these at you, least you can't move in you your house in your house so it's very important anybody watching this that's not a regular and is buying a manufactured home it's very important that you got to make this how much money do i got in that platform i don't remember okay i had to make two platforms hey philippines and i got to make a small set of stairs because i got three doors and i have approximately 300 dollars in this let's go look at the finished product i'm going to show you what we got they came out really nice too i was shocked <laughs> and one more thing <laughs> no we not really got, we actually got the finished guy in the house and he is in process working in the house and we're going to show you that of what they go through to completely tie the house up all together and then if he's kind enough we might get a little action of talk with him now he is a spaniard okay uh american spaniard he doesn't talk a lot of english so Please have patience with him, and we'll see what happens. Let's go over to the house. Let's check it out. All right. Come on. I need a body shop, girl. Follow me. And the bio, you know, this this thing that's going on in the world is just something everybody's got to deal with. And, you know, this is something. Uh, that's another reason we're staying in Moab, Utah. Oh, ouch. Watch your step. Okay, show everybody the dirt. Okay, watch it. Look at the rock. There's big giant you boulders. Want to step on that rock and fall? Shut up. You want to go ahead and step on that rock? Step on it. Go ahead. No, I tried to. There was a hole. We don't need any broken legs today. Many of the body shop girls. Oh my God, what's the date? It's coming up to the. I think it's the 24th. It's coming up to the infamous day that I'm not allowed to go outside because I tend to break my legs on that day in March. Okay, so here we are at the back. This is our laundry room door. And you can see, we got lucky. Our house is really close to the ground. So we don't have to make a big giant. Now, some of these houses sit way up high. Yeah. But we got lucky. This is only yeah. 22 inches. And if y'all notice this black line right here, that's where the dirt needs to be up yeah, to right there. That's the highest there. it should go. Because if you look right here, these are vents for our foundation that we got to put in. Yeah, those so, little holes. What I'm going to do here, I'm not making a platform. I'm just going to make a two-step staircase, and it's only going to be as wide as the door. Because this is the utility room. It's our utility room. Hang on one second. Roberto, turn your radio off, please. Turn your radio off. I'm coming in there. Please, my friend. Okay, we had to have Roberto turn the radio off. Okay. Now turn your radio off, but I'm, I'm, I'm on. How you doing today, Roberto? You doing all right? Right. We're on worldwide here from Australia, Japan, UK. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. We need to keep the radio off. We're on YouTube Live, my friend. My friend Pete, I told you. Right. I have 6,000 videos on YouTube. I'm going right. to come in there. We're going to get a little talk with you. Right. Keep the radio zipped. All right. Okay, we'll be in in a minute. All right. Okay, buddy. Sure. Comprende. Got it. Yeah. Let me go ahead and tell them about this, and then I'll come in there. Okay? Right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Everything good. Okay, so that's our buddy Roberto. He actually works for the manufactured kit manufactured homes out there for Carefree and Carefree Salt Lake City. Homes, yep. And he uh, said it only takes two and a half days to finish this out. We're gonna go in there, I'm gonna show you. But let's get back to these staircases because that's what this is about. Now we're not gonna make a platform on this section right here. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna put two stairs and it's gonna be as wide as the door. Yeah, and for everybody that's gonna say, well, what about code? You just said code. Well, code's well, only on front. I code on that. Code's only on front and back door, the code not. Code's only on the front and the back door. Yeah, not on the other. utility room, you can just have a little small staircase. Yeah, so before everybody freaks out about that. So here's, here's basically the staircase my friend Pete made 
and you can see the platform and also look how I use these rails here so it won't sink down in the dirt that'll hold it from sinking in the dirt and then of course they didn't have any two these are made out of two by tens and I believe if you're gonna make a permanent set of stairs they got to be two by twelve no Kenny that's not OSB all right this is not OSB we uh, got pressure treated about pressure treated yeah yeah all right, and then what we got here, we just got good old pine. And then what I did is I found my no. angle and I cut it. Yeah. And I went ahead and made the stairs the same width as the platform due to the fact that it's a wider stairs. And one more thing I want to point out, you need to ask your code people, is if it's over a certain height, you have to have a railing on each side. Remember hey, D'Angelo. Yeah, they just somebody just asked about that. Yeah, uh, yeah it's only if it's, I think up it's 30 thir inches or 32. If, if it's 30 inches high, you do, but under inches, that, you yeah. don't. So on 22 inches, we don't have to have a railing. It's it's low enough. But I was prepared to do that. But we've already got three 350 bucks in this bullshit. We ain't putting and a railing. Let me tell you, that's a lot of fucking money right now when you're dealing with the shit going on. Do you understand, Minnie? Yes, Pete, okay. yes, yes, yes. You you know, there's a lot of me. shit going on in the world. For me to spend 300 fucking dollars on a set of bullshit stairs that we're not even gonna keep. We're gonna throw them in the trash. And we don't even have a fireplace. This is for fucking firewood. So our neighbor over there will probably get it for free. Shut up, Pete. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, you're okay. bitching. He's bitching everybody, isn't he? So the way that you find your angle, where the bottom of your yeah, Kitty, we're going to do something out of concrete eventually when we do the permanent. This is just temporary. Just this is temporary. He just came on the line probably. He didn't hear that part. Here. Come on over here. The way that I found my angle, I used a level down at the bottom. Hey, PA. And many of the body shop Tom. guys holding that 4x8 like this at an angle. And this is no particular angle. That's just some angle, you know, random bullshit angle. And I said, hey, that looks pretty good. We didn't get all calculus about it. And then I took my level and I cut the bottom of that off. And then I also marked it up here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now I want everybody to look here. It's very important when you're building these temporary steps that you use a face board on this and you screw the face board into the stairs and then into your platform. There you go. Now come on over here. because Once again, these are temporary. Yes. Now if Minnie can get the camera down here, you can see this block of wood. That's just a thread that's tucked up under there. And we got that screwed into uh, these the riser. risers or runners. And then we got this screwed into that. And then everything's screwed together. So it'll carry a lot of weight. No, this isn't the Cedar Canyon 2042. This is a Pinehurst 2507. This is the Pinehurst. We're going to go in there and look. Now, who's asking that? Uh, the, I didn't catch the name. Okay. It went by too fast. All right. If you're interested in Kit Home, I'm going to tell you right now, Kit Manufacturing in Caldwell. Idaho is the best manufacturer. We have been around. We have looked at hundreds and thousands of these. Get, look at all my other videos, and I'm telling you, it's well worth it. Let's go inside. Uh, Roberto's doing hey, all Jane. that, tying up. Let's see what he's doing, and hopefully he Ooh. might follow my lead on this and uh, understand what my friend Pete's saying. Oh, you never know. <laughs> so anyway, here's our stairs. I don't know what the height is. When you're building temporary stairs, they're just temporary. Make them to the height that you think you're going to be safe climbing up there. What we did is I put my foot up in the air and Pete measured it. I basically did that. <laughs> I said, put your foot up. That's about 10 inches. We kind of just randomly checked it out. And Super vegan. You know, oh, cool. If these were going to be t permanent, let me explain something. We probably would have notched out this where we would have tucked this in there. And it probably would have had a double two by six instead of one because that's actually four feet actually of course dj you know what i'm saying uh-huh so if you're new to the manufacturer home business and you just bought your house make sure you check out the code for what you need to get inside that house let's go inside we're going to talk to roberto and take it from there yeah we hadn't got to put that video up on which one we picked yet because we are well, behind in the videos <laughs> yeah okay, we on. don't have a computer here and that's the only way pete can um work is with the computer ahead, work, but... okay so right now it's about uh a hundred degrees, degrees in here. here and the reason it's 95 we got uh, roberto 
And look up here what he's doing. Oh my goodness, it looks Watch so good. More. Okay, he's tying the house in. Now yesterday I want to tell you he went ahead and sheet rocked this corner and he added this molding. Oh wow, look that at right? that. Yes. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah. Okay, so he added this corner molding and then he sheet rocked all this in. Okay. okay, and then what happened? I'm sorry, go ahead, Roberto. We're in your way here, buddy. Okay. Roberto's a hard little worker, I can tell you that. He even yeah. sleeps in here at night when he's working here. I know, so I know. Okay, so what he did, he tied this in. Now, what did you use here, Roberto? Is this wood? Yes. What, what is that, like one by six or? Yes. What kind of wood is it like? Good uh, morning, Robbie. Floor? Yes. Okay, so then you tied that in together, and I guess you caught it in, and then you put the uh, texture on. Is that right, buddy? Sure. Okay, all right. So see, he's telling us how he did it, and he's telling us a very good situation here. So if you remember when we walked up in the house. It looks really good in here because it was cracked everywhere. Now, if you remember, when we walked in the house uh, three or four videos back, and you have to look at that one on DIY Auto School. Your hand's in front of the camera. Put it under here. Okay, so that's on DIY Auto School. You, you remember there's a big gap here. So you can see that this is all professionally done. And what he's doing now, he's going back and look here. He's fixing all these cracks. Yeah. He's getting all these cracks fixed. And then over here, um, look here. Okay, he's still got to fix all these ones. But what he's doing now, what are you doing now? Roberto, you're putting down He's the base molding. Base molding. Uh, and then are they going to put the carpet up to that? No, he's putting it a little bit up. Oh, you're going to lift it up about an eighth inch? So cool. the carpet is go under. And then carpet goes under. Got it. Comprende, my friend. Okay, so he's putting all the molding up around here. And one more thing that I want to go ahead and tell you. I don't know if we told him this. We actually had to pay extra to have all the molding. Put yeah. it in the house. Uh huh. I think it only came in what three rooms or something. Right, cracks from transportation. That's correct. But remember that. Uh huh. I'm yeah. About the base molding. Right, we right. Extra for that. Right, we did have yeah. to pay extra for that. So you see that? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. I was looking at my view. Okay, so you see, Roberto is very busy in here. He's a hardworking guy. He Hello. works alone. What? Nothing. Okay, he works alone Hello. in here. Can I talk or are you just going to keep talking? <laughs> okay. All right, you see what Roberto's doing here. He's doing a really, really good job. And he's getting all the cracks fixed. He's splattering it on there. And he still has to go back and fix more cracks. We found a lot of cracks and Roberto said he's going to take care of us. Look at that. And that look at this. You perfect. can't even tell. That's where the house actually goes together, right there, and guys. You can't even tell. Wow, Roberto. Comprende, my friend. Bonito. Right. Thank look at look at this one here, both yeah. sides. Thank you. Bonita. Oh, Is it Bonita or Bonito? Bonito. There you go. It looks good. Bonito pen. No, not pendejo. <laughs> not pendejo, but no, no, no. Bonito, buddy. Good looking. It looks fabulous. Okay. Oh my gosh. So anyway, um. We did have to buy a new toilet. I don't know if we told everybody that. Yeah, the toilet got cracked in, uh, in transport, apparently. Yeah, now I want to show everybody. I don't know. Uh, we actually walked through the house here when we were on DIY Auto School. So this is Minnie's kitchen. I'm sorry, Roberto. Let me get out of your way, little guy. Thank you. Mucho. Okay, so this is Minnie's beautiful kitchen. Um, we're going to have a detailed walkthrough. But you see all the action going on here. Um, it's a, a situation that says you got to be on top of watching what they're doing. And my suggestion is to people is when they purchase one of these homes, they should be there through the whole process of getting it done. Even if you have to stay in a motel or hotel or whatever you got to do. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Oh yeah. You got to be here because you got to walk through yeah. and make sure everything's all right. So let's walk out the front door over here and we're going to show you where that other platform goes. Uh, I guess we can walk through for all the people that uh, did not watch DIY Auto School. This is Minnie's bedroom. Uh, and here's her beautiful window that she had put in, transom window. And then she also had a window added, and then we pushed them to each end. Uh, so that looks nice. And then if you come in here, look what's going on. We can't walk in there. Okay, because okay, this is where the house goes together. Yeah, yeah. 
And look how nice that work is. Man, that looks you'll really never good. even you'll never even know. And here's I was how you the center fix that, right there. A door mm -hmm. there. And then we can't see the inside, but uh, when we get all done with the house, we're going to do a detailed walkthrough. Oh, yeah. Now he also said that uh, some local guys are going to come put the carpet in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I guess they'll do a clean sweep on it and detail it out. Well, what about cleaning the house? Who's going to do that? Who's going to clean the floors? And Somebody will. Who's going to do that, Roberto? Who comes in the house and cleans it all up and everything? Gets it moved? Some other guy? We don't know. Yeah, who, so after they put the carpet down, are they going to bring somebody in to clean the house? And de okay, just making sure, buddy. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have those lights extra. Okay, we got to go, Roberto. You take care. And we'll see you in a little while. Okay, buddy. Okay, you like those? I hadn't seen them. All right. You want to take the camera now? You going to let me talk? No, I might. Okay, Roberto, we're going to let you get to work. Okay. When you get done, come get me. All right. All right, buddy. Did you see the can lining we got in the ceiling? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Let's, we got to shut the door. It's got to be very hot in here. 100 degrees, he said. All right, walk down my nice steps. All right, so basically, it's up to you to install your temporary staircase. I hope everybody can hear me out there. And, and you know, it's important that you get a hold of your city, local government to make sure what the coding is on it to, to be, before you do it. Um, we did call a couple people out here to actually make these for us, and I thought it was only going to cost a couple hundred bucks. Uh, a couple of the local guys, they wanted 1200 fucking dollars labor to do this and plus materials. So, I mean, I thought that was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but let's go look at the front door and then we're going to kind of wrap this up. We can't do hardwood floors. Our budget is topped out. Maybe later down the line after the carpet wears out. Now, let me go ahead and explain this to people that are watching this. This is about your manufactured home. When you get your manufactured home, I don't know how it is across the country, but in this part of the country, you don't get an air conditioning unit with it. No. You have to buy that separate. So, um, in Texas, I'm pretty sure you would get one, but not here. So I'm going to just reach in here and open this door and I want to show you. Okay. If you kind of put the camera in there, you can see, um, there's the heating unit, but the only unit that you get when you buy it is the one on the bottom down here. You don't get that top unit cause that's a heat pump unit. And what that is, that's an electric heater, just like a little heater that you would buy in the store. It's got elements in it, and then a blower blows the air. So your electric bill is going to be approximately four or $500 a month in the wintertime using that. So when we talk to the air conditioner guy, what's the name of him out here in Moab? Eco, Eco HVAC. Eco HVAC, Moab, Utah. If you live in Moab, That's the call guy to call. Me. Call. Okay. Uh, he owns his own business. He's a one-man, two-man operation. Awesome guy, and he'll cut you a very good deal. But uh, when we got quoted for that, he we didn't know. We didn't know. Let me get that door. Yeah, because we just told him we needed an air conditioning unit. So we didn't know that we needed a heat pump. When he came out here, he said, look, this is what's going to happen. Um, I can put an air conditioning in here, but your heating electric bill is going to be four to $500 a month. And it was going to be $3,500 for the air conditioning unit. Well, when we talked to him, it jumped up $2,000 because we needed a complete heat pump system. And what that'll do, that'll keep our bills down to around $125 a month. That's something that you really need to make sure that you check. Because if you don't, awesome. you are going to be screwed in your ass. And you're going to say, my friend Pete told me, and I didn't fucking do it right. Super Vegan just said they're like they've got a, a, a heat pump, two hundred dollars a month. There you go. You see, if he didn't have that, it would have been four or five. Over the last three months, That's so right. that is really good, really so, good. With all the chaos going on in the world, and I don't want to mention anything. Everybody knows what we're talking about here. With all the chaos, uh, we're on a delay situation on the heat pump unit ourselves. So we're waiting on that to get here. We don't know when it'll be here. Hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. And I want everybody to look over there. Look at that little puppy dog. He's a little Aww. black Pomeranian. I don't know if you can see him out there. 
black and white Pomeranian, He's just like, like right over there, just like my buddy Axel. And it makes me look at him and say, "Where's my buddy Axel at? I miss my, Aww. I miss my little baby Pomeranian." And, I hope he's in Dallas and he's bunkered down and we love Axel. Come on around. Okay. We got our toilet paper. Well, if you kind of want to focus on the house so everybody can see what's going on here, Mitty. Uh-huh. Turn it around. We got one acre. We got one acre. And this is Minnie's house. This is her dream house. This is her queen castle. And this is where she's going to be living. Uh, like I tell them. Smarty before, house. Here's my castle. And I guarantee you, most guys on here are going to guarantee they'd rather have this than this. I'm sorry to say. Let's go look at the front of the house and we're going to wrap it up. Well, you must be a lucky man because you got both in reality. And then I want everybody to look at these pipes here. And I want everybody to look where they, they go all the way down there and they come all the way around over here. All right, that's where we put our sewage. Um, we did our own sewage and our own water. If many follows my hand, the water came from all the way around this building, all the way up to the street, and then came all the way around, keep going in a circle to the house over here. We ended up digging 500 feet of ditches with that backhoe over there. It's over there. 500 feet, um, our buddy Paul, Spanish guy. Thank Bernalino God Paul. for Paul. Uh, he came out here and actually got on that. We did all this plumbing, water, and sewage. We tied the shop in with a bullshit septic tank. Uh, and we tied all the house in. And what these are, these are clean outs. And what we did, we did all this in what? Three days? Three days. Three fucking days. We were done. It was a done deal. And the bidding that I got on that was between $7,500 and $10,000 or $9,500, $7,000 and $9,500 just to do the water only, no electricity. Yeah. So we saved ourselves a lot of money by doing this ourselves. I encourage everybody out there, if you have a friend that knows how to work a backhoe and you don't mind breaking your back for a couple of days, do your own plumbing. Save your money, do it yourself, and I'm telling you, you're going to be glad you did. Come on over here. getting cold out here now here's the front of the house and the reason we have the front of the house facing toward the Moab okay Ridge, tropics guy we got the house facing toward the Moab Ridge is because we're gonna be living in the back of the house most of the time so we got it facing the LaSalle mountains the mountains back so we there. got a good view on each side but if we take a close look over here because this is about staircases right right Let's supposed to be here. He loses track of what he's talking about. What happened? I said you lose track of what you're talking about. I'm trying to get through it all here. So this is where that other platform is going to go right here. Right. Okay. We just got to cut the steps and we got to cut all the steps in and then we got to put it down and it's a done deal as well. Once again, contact your local government, find out what the codes are before you do any temporary stairs or possibly permanent stairs. Permanent ones might be different, I don't know. That's our neighbors, Mike and Renee, back there. That's our neighbor, neighbor Mike. We'll be talking to him soon. Yeah, he'll be in some videos soon. Y'all will meet him. No, he doesn't wear a wig. <laughs> oh, butt crack. Ah! <laughs> I know, y'all's eyes are burning. I'm so sorry for that. I didn't mean that. I know y'all can't unsee that. <laughs> and no, we're not having a pool. Are you crazy, man? We're in the desert and there's too much sand. Do you know how much cleaning I'd be doing? I had a pool at my last house. I cleaned it for 18 years. Forget it. No pool here. SWRC, we go. Thanks. I like the stone too. All right. I want to. Julio. Can I talk now, please? Go ahead. So, y'all get me in trouble. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us in these hard times we're having. Um, once again, if you are alone or you might be by yourself or they got you cooped up and you can't talk to anybody and you know, you're going bat wacky. Email my friend Pete on way up at yahoo.com. Put your phone number in there. 
I'll call you and maybe have a good conversation. And always remember, God is on your side. Even if you don't believe in him, God loves you. I'm not going to sit here and preach about Jesus. That's your decision, what you want to believe in. But I know that if you have the power of positivization and you prove to yourself that you can do it, then things will happen and you will believe. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Over here at SWRNC, can I have my phone, please? Thank you. And we want to tell Minnie the Body Shop girl goodbye. What? No, baby, we're not. We got to go. The battery's running low. We got our signs. We got to hang up. We got our uh, SWR and size. So Minnie wants to show everybody something. Go ahead. Y'all, look at this. It's, if anybody's Catholic out there, that we're going to pray tomorrow, and it's going to be at noon, And but that's Greenwich. But you got to go by your time. standard time. Yeah, so um, I'm in the mountains. I'm going to be up at 5 a.m. If you're in Texas, it's 6 a.m., and there's... So, y'all, I'll pray. Uh, everybody check that uh, out if you're Catholic. Email, this email came from the USCCB, and y'all can go to that website, and you can click on it to join and pray with everybody else. Well, this is a worldwide situation. This is worldwide, right? This isn't, like, local. Yeah, this is a Catholic church, okay. and they're going to have a worldwide prayer. So this is worldwide, so join us tomorrow if you pray. join in on that, you're going to be joining hundreds and thousands of people. USCCB. USCCB. Okay. All right. So, um, anything else you got to say about the situation? No, we're just praying the situation. Okay. What if people, you know, I got some emails from people and they want to talk to you and you, you kind of had an attitude. No, I don't have an attitude. Well, you didn't want to talk to them. My attitude is, is from you, Pete, because. Why, from me? What are you talking about? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, if somebody wants to talk to me, the body shop girl, we're going to talk to her. Hey, come here a minute. What? We're not done. I thought we were done. Okay, we're not. We were done. Okay, are we going to play uh, uh, PlayStation tonight? Oh, my God, y'all. We forgot to tell you. Oh, gosh. Here we go. We got the PlayStation out last night, and we haven't played like in seven years. Shit, longer than that, 10. Well, no, it said 2013. Anybody that knows what the suffering is, we're, we're playing, playing the suffering. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> the suffering, I guess it matches what's going on. We'll see you later. Take it easy. We got to go. My friend Pete, your friend Pete. Everybody's friend Pete at SW. We'll be playing PlayStation tonight. Okay. At SWRNC Moab, trying to get her done. Do it right. Do it right. Do it right. Because if you're not doing it right. You're not doing it at all. And I'll let you answer that, bitch. See you later.